they just do? I don't Did know. Did you see that? Yeah, and it's just come on. It's not Spooky. recording. Hey, everybody, welcome. It's Scarlet Pete, Self Sufficiency. And I'm being interviewed by Dawn. And Dawn's from. Where are you from? I'm from a small holding in Wales at Stickle Town. And that's where I've been the last few days. I look fat in this at this angle. She's got a better angle. She's <laughs> doing for me an interview. She's been on my Facebook page groups and she's asked people questions they want to ask. So she's doing an interview with me for her channel. And it's a great channel. She's got buffalo. She's got all sorts. If you check my channel, you'll see um, a bit of an overview of your farm, wasn't there? Yeah. But I'm just going to video this while she humiliates me and asks me strange questions. Yeah. For her channel. Right. You're not here. Don't say a word. Hello there, everybody. This is Dawn from Stickle Tarn, a small holding in Wales. And today I am with the delightful Scarlet Pete. Hey, everybody. From Scarlet Pete Self Sufficiency and Crafts, Scarlet Pete Machine Knitting Newbies. And Scarlet Pete, and this is on Facebook, Scarlet Pete Self Sufficiency in Chat. Right. And Scarlet Pete has been here for a few day days. She's here on tour in the UK. She's been doing some tutorials with people. Um, and so, and she's over here earning some money, which is what she does, to take back to Hungary for her small holding back there. That's it. Just like that. So while she's been here, we've been having fun and games, playing with a few toys, which Scarlett has added to her shopping list. And um, chainsaws, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's been having needs. a go at canning, pressure canning, yeah, because we're never too old to learn. So today, I'm just I've got some questions to ask her from which have come in from her two groups, the machine knitting group and the self sufficiency group. And we're going to ask these questions and hopefully get some interesting answers off Scarlett. I still don't forgive you for the picture you put up on my group when she was asking people to ask <laughs> I, I stole a picture. I'll pop that into this video so people can see it. But I actually stole a picture from one of her videos and um, I basically screenshot it and edited out all the screenshot bit and... Um, yeah, and she's just standing there open mouthed. So And my daughter said, And you're still speaking to her after this picture. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, so I'll pop that in so people can see it. Um Scarlett and myself have actually a little bit of background here. We've known each other through the World Wide Web and through various different self sufficiency groups and crafting groups and that's where our interests have crossed over with each other and we've known each other i think probably a good eight coming up to nine years now and um, we have met before when scarlet came down here to do a visit but this time she's come down to stay and um, i've invaded yeah yeah she's invaded so right let's and you've got to be on. careful you know who you pick up off the internet it's very dangerous we warn our children you don't just make friends with these strangers, strangers on yeah. the internet yeah. look where you could end up you could you could end up here at sickle town sitting here in my cabin in front of my backdrop being questioned or interrogated traitors on my channels have been asking questions around me yeah so right okay let me see if i can read my writing here uh, question number one. How tall are you, Scarlett? This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very tall, am I? I'm five foot eight and a half. Well, compared to me, yes, you are, because I'm only five two. Mm -hmm. So you're a good six inches and a bit taller than me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, and the uh, average height of a woman is five four. Is it? Yeah, so you're bigger than average. Well, I've, taller than average. I've got shrinkage to come with, you know, because I'm getting older and I'll start shrinking. I'll be a bit less by then. Yeah. So I in 10 ask... years, don't don't listen to this and take the word yeah. for it. I, yeah. I won't ask eight. your weight. No, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, and I won't ask your age. <laughs> I don't mind that. I'm 49. <laughs> I think. Right. Okay, then. Do you come from a fam farming background? So where your parents and grandparents farmers and that's where your interest came? Um... My grandparents, my great grandparents, they were into working heavy horses and worked with the breweries and things. My mum and dad came from Wolverhampton and the Black Country, and that's in the UK, in England. And no, there was not a farming background, but there was a small 
holding interest. My mum and dad always needed to grow fruit and vegetables and to supplement their income because they were poor. They had no money, so we had to eat from the garden and grow it or not. Mm. Mm. Where in the UK were you born? I was born in Shrewsbury. 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 As commoners called it, Shrewsbury. <laughs> Shrewsbury in um, England, Copthorne Hospital. I should have been born in Wales. But I decided to be awkward halfway out, so they had to rush me over the border. Right. Okay. Now, did you go to private school? I just can't believe that. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> My mum was privately educated. She she went to Bilston, Bilston High for girls. So that was a posh school. Yeah. Uh, but no, I went to Myford, um, Myford Primary School in Powys, and I went to uh, Llanfa Cranian High School. That's it. In Welsh. Right. Okay. Now, how did you learn your skills? Um, so when you want to learn a skill, how do you go about learning it? Well, there's always trial and error. Um, there's talk to friends. There's a research. I have a lot of books that are my friends. Um, so I will go in the books, I'll go on the internet, I'll go on YouTubers channels like this one's over here. Um, I went to school and learned. Uh, in school I studied uh, metalwork, sewing, cookery, woodwork, rural science, business studies. Right. So the majority of those, that, that they don't teach. No, but I was told anymore. it was the easy path and it was the wrong choice by my teachers and they were wrong it's what i needed mm. i use it all the time i weld i create wooden objects i sew knit so how big is your farm three and a half hectares we still haven't looked up what a hectare is in acres and i hope you're going to comment below and tell us what that is yeah but i also so that's the farm I have access to another between three and, I don't know, at least three hectares. There's three to six hectares extra that I can use at different times of the year for grazing, strip grazing. Yeah. And is that on, and your, is that on your farm or is that elsewhere? It's, um, it's on the Great Plains, so it's just by the side. It's, it's landlocked between arable farmers' land and they're not allowed to uh, destroy it and damage it. So we can put animals on to graze it or we can make hay right. while the sun shines. Right. So it's a bit like us. We have grazing rights up on the mountain, mm -hmm. uh, which we, we don't use because we don't want to release our buffalo up there. So, but yeah, we do have grazing rights up there. Um, yeah, I've got to squiggle through that one. Yeah. When did you get your farm? Uh, well, we started 20 odd years ago with our own little mud patch. Um, and then, so we learnt with pigs and things then, and then things evolved more, and about between seven and ten years ago, we got our play toy farm. Mm. Yeah. Right, so that's that one, let me read that one. <laughs> I missed that one. How many languages do you speak? How many languages do I speak? English, just about. Um, I used to speak Welsh a little to well I was educated in Wales so I spoke Welsh but um, I've lost it completely as if as my daughter did a TikTok the other day and suddenly learnt something in Welsh and spoke to me in Welsh and I nearly <laughs> couldn't answer her uh, so there's a little French a little Spanish um, a little bit of German I'm learning a few words in Russian I think that's it and I've forgotten all the words that I learnt for my judo Hungarian. Do you oh speak, yeah, do you speak, Hungarian. Do yes. you speak Hungarian? <laughs> Married to a Hungarian, so yeah. So say something to us in Hungarian then. I've never. Jóna heard. Pod kívánok. Good day to you. Hodge, yeah. Hodge, how are you? Sziasztok. Hello, everybody out there. Köszönöm szépen, és thank you. Right. When you go out food shopping, what food do you buy? What do you not produce that you have to buy? Right, what do I buy? Um, I go out about once a month, I try to. Uh, 
we have struggled with potatoes. We have the Colorado beetle. So we can never keep on top of our potato situation. So we will buy a sack of potatoes sometimes. I buy uh, a crate of apples because the neighbours have robbed our apple trees too many times. Hopefully they won't do it this year. I buy lemon, lemons, oranges, ginger, though I can grow it myself. Turmeric, though I grow that myself as well. Spices, salts, peppers. Uh, one of my lovely uh, self-sufficiency friends explained to me once that salt is a huge thing. You don't just need to have a little bit of it. You know, if, it, if we suddenly have a shortage or can't get out, salt's so important to a smallholder because you're salting your hams, baking, yeah. curing. Mm. So salts and peppers and spices that I can't grow. Uh, coffee for my husband, horrible stuff. Chocolate for me, good stuff. <laughs> Cocoa nibs. Uh, organic flour. We are going to produce our own flour soon. Um, rice. Mm. Vinegar. I produce all my own vinegar, but for washing with the... Uh, I was going to say the washing machine, but I don't have a washing machine. I have a dolly that we go up and down with, which is a Victorian way to wash and a wash tub. It would be great to see you do that on a video, actually. I, know, I have done one, actually, I somewhere. Think. There is one in the past. Yeah. So vinegar, white vinegar to wash with. Uh, I make my own soap powders with conkers. Um, horse chestnut. Uh, what else do I buy? Flour, organic flour, rice, spices. So just a few staples, really, not basic staples. Yeah, mm. sugar. We we have bees. We have beehives, but our bees died the other year, so we need to get back into honey production. Mm. Why do you want to be self-sufficient? Because when I'm self-sufficient, I feel safe. I feel like I'm a good mom. I feel rich. It's a bountiful, amazing quality of life, good food, in control, healthy, to live a, a life full of vitality and quality. And, and it's keeping me fit. I'm not sat in front of the TV doing nothing or YouTube as much as I could be. Um, I'm keeping fit going and doing things. Right, now this next question's a bit of a sensitive subject for some viewers. Yeah. Uh -oh. well, brace yourself. I'm bracing. What am I holding on to? Right. <laughs> Do you get upset when you slaughter your animals? Well. Um, do I get upset? It's a different mode I go into. Um, because you do a lot of the slaughtering I yourself. do, I slaughter the animals myself so I will not have any joking, hilarity stupidity making fun of the animal, disrespecting it it's a serious thing but I know I've grown that animal for food I know I've reared it the best I can, given it high quality life I've given it species appropriate food which we often don't get when we're buying meat in the shops no i think the answer mostly because the build up to the kill day when i butcher and kill the animal because that's what i'm doing i'm taking its life there's so much preparation beforehand there's getting the bags to put the food away there's getting the freezers ready there's Sometimes a relief when it's happening because you've taken the animal as far as you can on the journey. It might be weather's closing in and you don't want to be working with those animals, pigs or cattle through the winter. You know there's a hard time coming. So it's a relief. Your freezers are empty. You need food. And that's what they are to us as well as friends and as well as they get loved and massaged and walked. No, I don't. I don't think I get sad. I look forward to the best bits of meat afterwards, so that when the pigs are killed, I get the tenderloin because that's the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, 
it's what we're doing it for it's to feed ourselves now i have an eating disorder if i didn't have this eating disorder it's a selective eating disorder i would actually be vegetarian i wouldn't be vegan i'd be vegetarian but because i have this problem in my life i eat meat so the best thing i can do is eat ethically grown meat and i'm responsible for everything that happens to that yeah. animal and i'm not yeah. abdicating responsibility yeah yeah if we couldn't raise our own meat um I, i'd have to go vegetarian i wouldn't go vegan but i would go vegetarian or even pescatarian i would i still hope to go vegetarian in my future yeah. if i can get help with the eating disorder I have, mm. and it's I should do a video on it one day. Yeah, yeah I would love to do. It's been slightly challenging feeding her the past few days. <laughs> I eat meat. I eat yeah. potatoes, onions, and I don't eat salad, yeah. and I don't. Yeah, eat but, but that's a subject for another vid video. So, yeah, there'll be questions in the comments. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's not coming back again unless she brings her own food. <laughs> I hate this eating disorder. Yeah. Right. Uh oh. No, this is this is an easy one. Right, but it's in two parts. Okay. Right. How does your husband Joe earn a living? <laughs> does he work? Does he earn a living? My husband is a mad inventor and creator. So. If friends need something doing, he'll go and help them. He sometimes forgets to charge. Uh, he, he'll come home with swapologies, you know, a pig for something, a lamb for something, a new piece of machinery that I didn't know we really needed, that he did know and we got that instead of money. Uh, he does. He does. But I suppose I'm the breadwinner more. So right so the second part to the question is how does scarlet earn a living every which way i can um i'm creating my presence online in a hope that this in the future as well as helping people will be a way for me to make money and stay at home and stay on my small holding teaching others to do what i do and make money out of it i also write I've written for newspapers, magazines, articles. Um, I teach. I go around teaching people to machine knit and craft, cure bacon, um, make fermented goods, salting, pickling. I go to WIs and teach. I go into groups of ladies. That's just switched off. Again. Ooh. I go on too oh, much and her phone please, can't please. cope with it. Ooh. That's why you're here as a backup. Good old Samsung. I don't use my iPad, you see, because... How much has it done? 18 minutes I've videoed and 29 seconds and counting. No, no, it's deleted the whole lot again. Are you serious? I am serious, yeah. So we'll, have, we'll carry on with your camera then. We'll just edit out bits. And I've I'll got to put, look over here at you. I'll lot. put in an intro and etc. Because that is annoying. Oh, no. oh, oh, look. How long is it? If you play it, press play. To to WIs and teach. That's it. That's where it stopped. Right. W, I's and teach. So we can redo the teaching question if you want. Yeah, I can pick it up from W, I's and teach. Eh? I can pick it up from W, I's and teach. Yeah, but what else did you say before it? No, oh, I know where I've gone to. Are you sure? You don't want to embellish more on the knitting machine knitting tutorials? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, see, you're slipping up again. <laughs> Selling yourself short. Selling yourself short, right, camera. The hat looks good, doesn't it? I thought of wearing it for the interview, but did my hair instead. Took all of two minutes, no, 30 seconds to do the hair. Right, 
I'm gonna iron them. Oh, you're gonna hold it like that. <laughs> no, we can see it there though. I spot it, Bill switching off. <laughs> I spot, I spot it switch yeah. off. Well, we're just about to. Well, I, just, I believe that is the last question actually. So that's why I wanted you. That's why I left that until last because I wanted you to embellish on the machine oh, This is horrible flat water. Go on, taste the plastic too. So, right. It's a little bit wonky. Do you think you need to tip up your end? Look, it's no it's... longer straight. Mm. That way. Right, so final question. How do you earn a living? Um, so I do a lot of things. Um, where do I start? I teach. So I do machine knitting and teach people. I do crafting and teach. I go around people's houses and teach one to one. But I'm also trying to get my presence online better so I can earn money from my YouTube channel and AdSense, isn't it? Is it AdSense? Monetizing the channel. Yeah. Uh, I used to be a designer of knitwear, so I'd like to get back into machine knitting and designing clothes for people and selling that to, to pet shops. Like, this is my hat I made and it's on my channel. So if you want to see how to make the milk time hat, it's all in there. So that's the sort of thing. Um, so I teach, I've done teaching for WIs, one-to-one, -one, teaching on small holding skills, fermenting. Um, I also go into all people's homes, all the, 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 what's it, the day centres and do talks and, and memory lane so that we make bacon together we make butter in a session and then they have their butter and enjoy that but it's so, old so, do, so when you come over to the UK is it the teaching that you're concentrating on it has been this time uh, I will also look to source things that I need to take back to the small holding uh, I've written for magazines I've done tele news, newspaper articles magazine articles got about 100% publishing success actually which is quite good isn't it um, what else have we done what else did I mention before that we do I can't <laughs> think now yeah. Uh, so yeah it's it's teaching knitting educating uh, I might find something cheap that needs fixing and I'll repair it and sell that afterwards and but what I really want to do what I really want to do is get the business set up with the online status then I want people to come over I want to have a machine knitting barn and crafting barn so people can come on holiday and stay we can do Airbnb we can do a wedding barn and my husband then will do things connected to it like machine knitting yarn stands or butter pats and embroidered things it's just all around the lifestyle right. products yeah. around the lifestyle and i'm still in the researching and finding out what i can do to help mm. people and i want something that's quality you, you can't always find like a nice butter muslin square mm. you, you, i want it embroidered on the edge and pretty i just mm. don't want basic <laughs> Right, now I've got a question of my own I'm going to ask. Uh -oh. So, and that is, what can we expect to see from the future of your channels? A lot more. Very different, because Dawn's been talking to me today, and a few people have been talking to me, and I realise that for various personal re reasons in my past, I've kept my channel very shut down and not so open as it could be about me, about how I survive, what I do, whether I really live this life, whether I, I've just kept things quiet because I have children. I have three children. Lily's been the one that's been involved in the videos and things recently. Now she's reached 17 years old, but I've kept it all very private and shut down and it's been machine knitting or self-sufficiency 
in the machine knitting videos, I've allowed a little bit of my personality and stupidity to come over. Because I also do the comedy sketches of it mm. with the Bridgerton accent. Maybe that's why everybody thought I was a bit posh. But <laughs> in the future, I am actually going to take time to tell you guys what's brought me on this journey. How my childhood was. Fights with my eating disorder. Um, what else? More about your lifestyle in Hungary. Yeah, more about Hungary. More about why I'm with my husband, where I found him, how he found me. Uh, uh, and yet yeah, showing things like, like, I'm thinking of taking you on a shop. So that shop I've yeah. just chatted about, I will take you on my shop and show you where this is my monthly shopping bill. I've often shown my animals and my animal training, um, but maybe I need to be more, have a more of a personal touch. Maybe I need to show me a little more. Uh, do you think so? Definitely, yeah, yeah. I personally would like to see more of your life in Hungary to just to be able to compare it to our lives here in the UK. You know, what you buy, Hungarian food, Hungarian way of farming, hung, all of that. Because for me personally, I watch people in Russia, I watch people in the Ukraine, I watch people in Turkey, I watch people in America. I've got people in Spain that I watch and we all have a common interest and we're all curious and we learn from these other countries. So you want more about the culture as well? Yeah, Cultural culture. recipes? Yeah, I'm not interested challenges. in history. I'm not a history person, but their, their lifestyle, because their lifestyle is very different to our lifestyle here. Yeah, and I think things like we've gone through food shortages and rationing at the moment. Which I'd never heard of until the other day when you mentioned it, because it has, I've never seen it come up on social media. I've never seen it mentioned on the news. Yeah, so we're food rationed in Hungary, so I'm very lucky I have my lifestyle. Mm. We can buy one kilo of sugar, I think it is, one kilo of flour, two boxes of, of eggs. If you can find flour, if I've not been able to buy sugar now for months. Um, there was a stage where we had no petrol and no diesel at pumps for a month. It didn't bother me because I was just going to get on the horse and ride to town. Um, the sugar and flour, I I learned to stockpile things a long time ago. I learned, I was it's speaking. It's stopped again. Pig. It's a pig. It's stopped again. <laughs> when did it stop now? When did it stop? Go to WIs and Twitch. Can you tell I used to work in TV? Health sufficiency. In the machine knitting videos, I've allowed a little bit of my personality and stupidity. So I also do the comedy sketches on it with a Bridgerton accent. Right. Maybe that's why so that I was is busy. where we stopped when you said about that. Right. Let me just let me just have a quick short video that I deleted. Remember, I'm still videoing you. Are you? Mm -hmm. But a lot of that is going to be edited out. She hopes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not put about me being brought up a Jehovah's Witness. I don't mind that being brought no, up. No, no. Just it might spark interest. Five foot eight and a half. On the last bit of the video, does it talk about the rationing? It doesn't. I haven't. Heard. No, it was where you said about the comedy. I might need to listen to the last bit to see where we'd gone with how much I'd said about. So we'll just wind up that bit and I'll do a exit bit. I need to listen to what the last bit was on what you were saying about... No, but prior to that, I can't remember. Well, we were talking about the future of your channel. Was it? Yeah, it was. I think we need to tip up your angle because they're on the straight. Where's the continuity? Makeup. Makeup artist? Am I looking a bit shiny on top? Come on. Prompting card? Or self sufficiency. 
And the machine knitting videos, I've allowed a little bit of my personality and stupidity to come out. Because I also do the comedy sketches on it with the Bridgerton accent. So the question was, what's the future, future of, of my channel? channel? Or what can we expect to see in the future? She's got a bagger under my eyes. You oh, tell I'm up till 3 something, 3.30 this morning, unable to sleep. I blamed Dawn and say it was, I was worried about the interview, but I wasn't. Right. Happy with that. <laughs> Are you in the, you know, for continuity sake, you know. Well, let me press the bloody button. Check, sit there and check you're <laughs> in the same angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the future, so. Um, so. Are we going to see more of your life in Hungary? It looks like I need to involve more of me in the videos because I realise now from talking to you that my video is a bit disjointed, my, my channel. It's, just, it's There is a lot more that needs to go into it, a lot more about our personal struggles with the, the crops maybe, the, the animals, uh, the life in Hungary dealing with the um, rationing that we've just had to go through for the last two or three years. So we've not been able to buy sugar, flour, some pastas, um, sugar, flour, pasta, eggs. So one kilo of flour, one kilo of sugar, if it's in the shop, which it isn't. Uh, two boxes of eggs. There was a point where we could only buy so many liters of petrol and diesel and now that's then we had a month with no fuel whatsoever the postman couldn't even buy fuel the ambulance service couldn't so maybe i should in, engage in that a little bit more maybe i should let me come out a little bit more talk about my past because yeah. i'd be very interested to see more about your life in hungary and how it compares to the farming life here of people small holding and because like my friend commented the other day but Hungary is just a third world country and but talking to you about Hungary Hungary isn't a third world country mm. it's a very diverse country we have neighbors that sh uh, that farm the land with horses mm. still we have the other side that farm with the biggest John Deere computerised yeah. yeah. control tra tractors. So hopefully we'll see a lot more of that. And a lot more of me. And a lot more of Scarlett. And my and, daughter. Uh, and one day, hopefully I might get She's over coming out. to Hungary and do exactly the same to Scarlett. Mm -hmm. um, so, right, we're going to wind up there. That is the questions. Yeah, so that, that's all the questions I've got this time round. You mean there might be around too? <laughs> no, th there was some questions which I thought were a bit inappropriate. And... Oh, I want to know those ones! No, you don't. <laughs> um, I do, I do, I do. But I she spared me of those. Go ahead with them ones. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so we're going to wind up there. It's time for us to go and have a cup of tea, a warm up by the fire, because it is a little chilly in here. So thank you all very much for watching. Please tune in to Scarlett's channel. I will put a link down below for it. Scarlett Pete, um, self-sufficiency and crafts. Yeah, yeah we, need, we need a t-shirt. Yeah, we, we do. We need, we need we, you know, we're in the crafting yeah. area here. Yeah, we do need some yeah. t-shirts, mate. Um, yeah, merchandise. That's another thing I'm going to do to make money. Yeah. So there's, there's going to be lots happening. And, and like I've said on one of my earlier videos, you know, I've got big changes happening this year as well on my channel um, so please give us a thumbs up give us a like comments shares that all helps to get my channel recognized and help to build it up because that's how face the youtube logarithms work for every thumbs up they push it out to a few more people so we need lots of thumbs up lots of likes and comments really really help to push the comment yeah, the course. channel along and you make friends with these people in the comments i do yeah i go visit them yeah so take care like everybody and um yeah don't forget check out her channel she's got some interesting stuff on there and there will be lots of interesting stuff coming up and like i always say like subscribe share and give us a comment so we know you're there bye we got to the end of it. We did it! <laughs>
I got the outtakes though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many people did you actually have send in questions? Eight. Eight. Yeah. How many from each group? Uh, there was three from the knitting group and the three from the knitting group, five from the self sufficiency group. Um, nobody particularly nasty though. No, no, That's no, nice. no, no. There was nothing nasty. It was quite funny because when I did the interviews for television and I did, they did a big documentary on me and the pigs, they did all the whole documentary and then after they did it, they said, do you know, we went searching for dirt on you and we couldn't find any. We asked all your friends, we went everywhere. They should everywhere. have looked at your feet. You know, they should have just <laughs> gone through the mud patch and the compost heap. Yeah. So that's yeah. my video with Dawn, the... Um, crossing examination wasn't it interrogation yes it was really yeah. good i had no idea i was going to be asked how tall i was or whether i'd gone to posh school yeah it's yeah. the bridget accent you do i shouldn't do it so much so thank you for watching i hope you like you're going to only see a bit of this we'll put a little bit together to show you that you should go to over to dawn's channel a self what will hang on a, a small, small holding, holding in, in wales, wales. Yes. and she's got uh, you've got the other channel too, haven't you? You've got the crafty one. I've got Homespun Creations, which I don't talk about my lifestyle at all on it. It is just craft. And it's just all itty bitty crafting videos. There's nothing major on there. But Dawn also does Airbnb. And she sells, she has a farm shop, but I'm hoping to shoot a video in tomorrow. Farm shop. And she does uh, the bison and farm markets. They're not bison. Oh, flipping it! I keep upsetting the buffalo. <laughs> They're not bison. This is a dyslexic's brain. Yeah. The buffalo. Yeah. I called the alpacas llamas to their face and they nearly spat at me. Uh, no, she sells buffalo meat. And what else do you do? You make pies. The pies, aren't they? The pies are buffalo. Yeah, I don't make them. It's an independent person who makes them. Because we have to be approved to be able to do it. Hassap and all yeah, of that. Yeah, it's all the red tape. Yeah. Um, and she does this crafting in this lovely crafting area here. Yeah. And teaching. So she's quite good too. Yeah. So go check out her channel. And put thumbs up and liking and subscribing. As I always say, give us a comment so I know you're there and you care. Ta-da! Bye-bye.